everybody. This is your weekly reading for May 27th through June the 2nd. Now, I do want to take a brief moment to say that I'm sorry I didn't get all of the videos out for May, the monthlies. Um, I'm going to get started on June so I can have a fresh start and everything can go normally from there. That way um, they can actually get out at a normal <laughs> time for everyone. Again, I do apologize about that. Okay, so we're just going to jump right in. So. As you can see, during this week, we still are in retrograde with Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, and the North Node. All these are about changes. Um, Jupiter is about inner changes and expanding your uh, inner growth or your personal growth. Saturn is about banishing bad habits, um, people, fears, uh, flaws that you think you have in your life. Pluto cleans up your life, uh, revisited things that you had left alone. This is also a, a time where you're probably organizing things or um, putting things into order in your life. The North Node is about your life direction, thinking about your life direction, where you going. Um, you may even have trouble making plans on your life direction where you thought, oh, I really wanna go this route or do these things, but I need to make some adjustments. So we're going to start the week off with the sun being in Gemini the whole week. We're the sun is still in Gemini. And Gemini is a curious sign. Okay. Um, very. Gemini likes to look at all sides. Um, I feel like in this case, I'm feeling like. Gemini likes to try all the different options. You know what your options are and you're willing to try all of the different ones um, that you're going through. And I feel like with this card coming out for that, that each side of a situation gives you a different aspect or a different point to look at within an issue or a problem. And all of these come together to help you build uh, more sturdier foundations and what it is that you want to do. Okay. Tuesday, you have the full moon in Sagittarius and Mercury in Gemini. So let's start with the full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. This is about emotions. <laughs> emotions that may be coming to the surface habits that you have created out of um, independence or seeking adventure or trying different things or wanting new things that is about to come to a close and I feel as though you're going to be more direct about the things that you want and the things that are good for you. I feel like you're just in a a moment of trying different things. Yeah. So I do feel like you're going to start speaking your mind. Speaking your mind about the things that are best for you and not keeping things to yourself. Your emotions. stepping away from bad decisions and making better decisions even though it may seem like it's hard or it may take a lot of effort a lot of emotion a lot of pressure um, you're gonna do it I feel like this is the time where you're gonna put your foot down okay so next we have Mercury and Gemini on that Tuesday as well And this is you voicing your opinions. Look at that. Voicing your opinions to make a more stable future for yourself. Okay. Um, it's like you're going to get knowledge 
communication is going to come to you to give you clarity on certain situations. And I feel like you're going to feel better about giving more. Things are going to feel more equal. You're going to feel like you're starting to step into something that is more promising. Um, it's a feeling of feeling out. Like feeling separated from a situation and now feeling like you're merging back together with it. Very interesting energy. And it has to do with others. I feel like both of you, if you're dealing with someone, both of you have did your individual thing. And now you're going to start to come together. Okay. And see that you both offer something different to each other. And that is going to help you work together more strong moving into June. And June is about others and how others fit into your life. So we're going to move into your weekly readings. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Hello, this is the weekly reading for... May 27 through June 2nd for the element of earth. So let's see what spirit has for us. Um, you all, us, <laughs> for uh, this week. So we're going to start with Taurus. Spirit, what do you have for Taurus for May 27 through June 2nd? What would you like for Taurus to know? pay attention to be aware of at this time the Hierophant which is your card nine of swords judgment knight of coins seven of spears in reverse the high priestess on the bottom of the deck three of swords ace of coins Okay, Taurus, <clears throat> being that you have these two cards uh, on the bottom of the deck in reverse, it's very, um, there may be a need to be patient this week, and it could be difficult. Um, when it comes to career or love, um, it looks as though you're trying to heal a situation, whether this is um, in love <laughs> or work or any other aspect of your life. You want it to be better. You're in the process of healing it, healing yourself. And you're having trouble seeing the bottom line or where the situation is going. With the Hierophant, it's about structure. You're a person that likes structure. You have a path. You have an idea of where it is that you want to go. And you're moving on that path. Um, there is worry this week that there will be rejection or criticism of the way that you're doing things. That it will not be received very well. But I don't see that you are changing that path okay with the judgment here there is a change that needs to be made and it looks like there's worry that things will not pan out the way that you want it to even though you were steady on your path and and doing all of the things that you were supposed to be doing being smart, um, taking your time. But there is potential in the situation. It's like you're waiting, you may be waiting on a judgment. Don't be afraid of hearing something that seems negative to you, but is actually um, trying to help you do better. Okay? 
So you may not hear exactly what you want to hear or see exactly what you want to see, but it's there to help you. It's there to give you, um, I want to say knowledge, even though the Ace of Spears is not a knowledge card. But it's there to give you, because you have this drive, because you have this push, okay, you can get out of feeling abandoned. But there is worry of criticism this week about your path. It's time for you to see the open potential here. It's going to take some time. There is going to be some healing needed. I do feel like there is going to be a letdown this week. But it's going to help you pick yourself up and see what needs to be fixed. It doesn't feel like a... A death to all that you've been trying to do or a failure. It just seems like there are some things that need to be faced. Okay, Taurus, you have denial. I acknowledge my fear and I replace it with insight of awareness. So there is fear of failure or being faced with failure or not being perfect or perfection. And you will be having to deal with that this week. And it brings things to awareness that needs to change. So you can see the potential. Or the beauty in what is. What needs to be done. The high priestess is about revealing things to you and showing things to you. So you can heal and refocus okay next we have Virgo What do we have for Virgo for May 27 through June 2nd? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of this week? Nine of Coins in Reverse. Page of Cups. King of Swords. Wow. Five of Swords. Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Eventful. On the bottom of the deck, we have the five of coins in reverse and the three of coins. So with these two cards being at the bottom of the deck here, you're cutting your losses from losing something. Um, it didn't go the way as planned. This is difficult for you. Um, and now I feel like you're working on being on your path and what it is that you want or looking into what it is that you want, what's important to you, what is your focus, maybe even working on a career. But I feel like it's been difficult going through a cycle with something or someone and now you're learning how to move on from that, from that cycle, okay? Um, with the Page of Cups here, there may be an offer coming in to you from a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? Um, this person is also immature as well, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. But I feel more like it's a message coming in to you, okay? Um... And it makes you happy. 
it brings you joy whatever this is but be careful about going back into something over again reliving a cycle and not really not really learning from it making yourself a martyr that's what I heard there's also a Gemini Libra Aquarius if that's someone that you're actually dealing with as well this person may be giving you advice about um, this particular immature person or the person that you're dealing with okay I feel like this person is very smart and they're telling you to cut your losses but for some reason with this immature person who uh, brings like those um, light emotions into you like childish um, dreamy love emotions that you have happiness attached to this person and I don't feel like that's healthy um, you're learning to move forward like I said and work within a situation this is cooperation so you're cooperating with your future with your path what you have there was a risk being taken here um, with this person. You may take another risk with this person, but that's really up to you. Um, I feel like there may be someone else coming into you or this advice is coming into you really quickly. It's not what you want to hear, but it's about being faced with the truth here, okay? Sorry about the pause. <clears throat> the pizza man came. <laughs> so, also looking at this spread, there may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that you have known for a while. Um, that is also coming in with some communication and you're thinking about taking a risk on that. Okay. And it's going to be something small. It's just someone that you have known. Um, you may have split, in a, split up from something that was negative or something that wasn't good or this may not even be the best time for you at the moment to um, to do that even though I feel like this message uh, makes you very happy um, it makes you content you just don't know if you want to relive these situations again so you know it's whatever works best for you that's what you're thinking what's best for me um, <clears throat> what do I really want so Virgo Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay. This is about not making foolish decisions. This is about being strong enough within yourself to know what's right for you and what's wrong. Just because there's this offer doesn't mean that it is the best thing for you. Right? Um, communication is good. That's what I'm being told to say. Okay. okay, so next we have Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn for May 27th through June 2nd? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Death, Four of Coins in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, Strength in reverse, Two of Spears in reverse, Knight of Coins. On the bottom of the deck, nine of coins on reverse. I'm sorry, knight of coins, nine of coins. <laughs> that sounds alike. And the queen of swords in reverse. Okay. So this week, Capricorn, um, it feels like a difficult week with this in reverse. Maybe financially, maybe security within a relationship or any sort of situation that you're in. Uh, feeling like... Um, 
feeling like there is safety and stability within a relationship, you may be having issues with that again this week. I feel like that has been, um, if that's something that you've been dealing with, that's something that's been going on. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And this person, I feel like, is not really giving you much, okay? Um, I feel like they're distant. They may be um, unemotional or mean, um, <clears throat> not really supportive, not being very perceptive to your needs. You are the death card, which I do like for you because I feel like you're trying to transform yourself. Um, you're trying to put an end to things in your life that do not have a place and start a new path. Okay. Um, you're, you're evaluating your weaknesses. You're evaluating your confidence and what it is that you need around you. Letting go of things that do not serve you. But ho also holding on to things that do. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's an evaluation of what's not working with you. What's not cooperating with you. And and letting those things go almost but more like transforming yourself to look at those things differently more than letting them go with the king of cups this could be a cancer scorpio or pisces um but i really feel like this is more your energy and it's because you don't want emotional manipulation or an emotional stance to get in the way of your thinking okay but it look like it looks like in this situation it might okay um don't let that be your plan <clears throat> is to hold on to your anger or to think that love is negative or let your moodiness take over you and make really bad decisions okay like i said this is a difficult week and it's a very uh good week to be perceptive you have the Empress and the Eight of Spears. The Empress is beautiful because it's about abundance and um, you can have that abundance this week. I feel like it's there, it's just hidden. Um, what do you mean by that spirit? So the, it's there. I feel like <laughs> the situation is better than it looks. It's better than it feels. Um, it's just confidence wise you're not getting what you deserve okay but there's definitely opportunity to grow you just have to know what to hold on to and what to let go communication is the key here um, be careful about communicating negativity and um, volatility and letting your emotions take control because that path isn't going to help you grow. This lack of cooperation is not going to help you grow. It's not going to help things get better. So if communication begins to open, this is a good time to let it death is your card it says I am learning that endings are merely beginnings this could be the end of a relationship especially with the death card here um, death to a certain sort of aspect to a relationship or situation things are changing <clears throat> it's about you finding abundance and happiness and being driven towards what you want and communicating that It may be hard to get someone else to to get someone else to come out of their spot of disorientation. But you can stay on your path. This may be someone taking a break from someone as well because they're not happy. But if you do, I see you letting go but holding on at the same time. So that's why I said most more of a break. I 
I just see difficulty this week. And this has been consistent with everyone this week. So thank you so much for listening. I will see you next week. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.